So the emergency SOS on the iPhone sounds like a really cool thing, but you got to be careful. I actually called the cops twice without even understanding what was going on. And essentially, I have my iPhone, and when you put it on my motorcycle mount, it was pressing the buttons. And next thing you know, 911 is calling me, and I'm like, whoa, what's going on? So it kind of prompted me to disactivate that. And again, it's going to be your choice. You make your decision if you want to do it or not. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think down in the comment section below so obviously this is going to be very simple go into your settings scroll down a little bit and you are actually going to see emergency sos click in there and as you can see everything that i have is actually disactivated so the way that you activate this is showing you right there in the picture is that you press one side and the other side you put it together and it's going to activate but again you got a couple different choices right here first one is going to be called with hold right here it says if you press and hold the side and the volume the emergency sos slide this would appear so essentially if i go like this check this out you see this it's gonna appear and then you have the choice to pick what you want to pick right in my case i have that turn off because again i don't want to do that right but if this would have been done it would have called emergency service and it says right here that it has a countdown that it will begin and then it will call emergency services which is definitely true it happened to me now the second one right here is going to be rapidly pressing the side button five times again it's going to initiate that phone call so essentially if you have this and you press it five times you're going to have that and now it has one here that i didn't know this one's kind of interesting which is going to make a phone call after a severe crash i don't know how exactly they detect that you are in a crash but they could do that as well and if you go a little bit down you do put the person that you want to be contact in my case i do have my wife in there but again i have everything disactivated except the call after a crash not really know much about that and the reason why is because i was getting tired of making a phone call accidentally and again in my case because i got a motorcycle on the motorcycle mount and it squishes the phone together that was the deal maybe that's not the case for you but i wanted to show you how to do that here in the iphone let me know what you think put comments down below we we'll see you on the next one